speaks for itself, doesn't it? I've got a theme tune. I've finally got a theme tune. And I will explain the history behind this. Uh, anyway, let the tune do the speaking. Isn't that the maddest thing you've ever heard? Where'd I get that from? Well, it's by John Barry. It wasn't actually written by John Barry. It was written by a guy called Uday L. Bowman. Do you know when it was written? 1914. It's called The Twelfth Street Rag. Um, <clears throat> can't tell you why it's called The Twelfth Street Rag. But it's, uh, it's about a club that was opened on... Uh, a certain type of club that was opened on Twelfth Street... Uh, and it's, oh, it's just great listen to this <laughs> I mean you've got to dance to that okay just go mad just go wild download it invent a dance film the dance show me the dance Oh, great. <laughs> what an ending. Wow. That was amazing. The 12th Street Rag. How did it get onto that? Well, um, after yesterday's um, vacation into the other room, um, I got set a challenge. Well, a bit of a challenge. I got some advice, actually, um, from May who uh, quite right, I've got to, you know, this just annoys the hell out of me. Because uh, I'm, I'm, look, watch this, watch, watch. Okay? Oh, right, yeah, but watch this, hang on. See, not working. Not working. Oh, yeah, okay. So, after saying... I'm going to learn to play the piano. Well, a bit better uh, is what I'm going to do. Um, May, thank you very much. Uh, emailed me and said, "Here's my work, sir." Blah 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 blah. By the way, my dad can play chopsticks. It's like, oh, right, okay. Um, it's a really good one to start with. Uh, it won't take you very long. And when 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 you learn to play it, it'll be like uh, it'll sound like you know how to play the piano. So like, okay, I'll, I'll I'll look this one up. So I did. And I found a version by Liberace. Um, you may or may not know who Liberace was. He's this uh, incredibly famous uh, pianist. At one time, he was the, the, the best paid musician in the world. Um, born in 1919 in Wisconsin, Ohio, to uh, Irish and Polish parents. Uh, Mum was a pianist, but didn't train, didn't uh, really invest uh, in in his son and in her son and all that. A really fascinating guy. You, you should look him up. So I went on um, iTunes and I bought uh, Chopsticks thinking, thanks, mate, that's really good. I'll learn to play this tune in no time at all. Yeah, have you heard Liberati's version of it? Here we go. Sounds easy, doesn't it? What's that? There it, oh my God. Turn into a waltz. <laughs> I can't do all that. Wow. But this was Liberati's style, you see. He'd take very simple tunes, jazz them up, make them flamboyant. Um, people loved him. Oh, wow. I could do that, but when I've learnt how. Isn't that good? Yes, it is. I don't care. Um, how did it get onto that? Well, firstly, I didn't know how to play chopsticks, so I thought I'll look it up. And then, once I started looking it up, I couldn't stop. It kind of like, I just got 
into this chain of we used to call it surfing the net do you still call it surfing the net so i started surfing the net and i just got hooked so for the last hour all i've done is look up stuff okay um especially about liberace found out all about the 12th street rag um did you know uh if you think this has got nothing to do with you lot uh there is a SpongeBob SquarePants production of 12th Street Rag. If you don't believe me, look it up. Go on Google or YouTube right now. Type in SpongeBob SquarePants 12th Street Rag. And there you will see. Okay? So all this stuff that you think is dead old fashioned is brought into modern relief. And is given modern relevance. Okay? You, you think you were born in a vacuum? No. You're at the tail end of... A, of eons millennia of cultural heritage okay and uh and you need to you need to drink it all in you soak it up while you're young so that as you get older it's there to help you through this crazy life anyway have, have you also noticed i'm back in the front room i have um all right all right all right i won't play that crazy music anymore so that's all I've got on my notes, apart from the fact that on this day in history, 1945, um, a certain dictator of Germany, I won't even say his name, uh, committed suicide in a very cowardly fashion in his Berlin bunker, uh, taking his wife with him, who had married about an hour before, uh, in equally cowardly fashion, and uh, left the country to uh, ruin and ruination. Um, after having almost single-handedly destroyed it. Um, let's hope that never happens again, for, for sure. Um, there is a link, strangely enough, because um, Liberace was Polish-born throughout the early part of the uh, 20th century. Um, a, a lot of uh, Poles and Germans as well, actually, uh, moved to the United States and became very prosperous and very successful um, which is what uh, thankfully uh, made America great uh, its open arms its um, statue of liberty uh, uh, there's a description at the bottom of the statue of liberty it's like bring me your poor bring me your huddled masses um, some of you have probably been there you know exactly what I'm talking about so, what are we doing today, apart from rambling on about music? Um, you're carrying on. I've started my winner's PowerPoint. I finally learned out how to do it on my uh, Chromebook. They're almost impossible to use. Um, but once you do learn how to use them, they're wonderful. And so I'll, that'll, that'll be done in uh, about half an hour. And that's it. Yesterday, I think I had about maybe 10 emails now normally I'd say oh that's not good enough I want 100 emails but no because these are the emails that are sir I'm a bit worried about that I don't know how to do this um, I'm getting fewer and fewer which is good because it means to me that you're kind of happy and content you're just getting on with it I've had a couple of mums and dads contact me thank you very much you're always welcome to do that and um, just to put the word out in general uh, that PowerPoint the last one I sent you there's at least a week's worth of work on there so I will not set any more work until Monday <clears throat> okay uh, guaranteed <clears throat> and so you just be cracking on with that any problems let me know um, if you if you've finished all that and you've done everything else and you've cracked on with learning an instrument you've learned to do the rubik cube and you've written me a descriptive piece on guernica by pablo picasso and you've what else have i asked you to do built me a robot done yourself portrait i've had no self portraits okay get in the kitchen get some turmeric some onion powder some chocolate spread uh and what else is coloured? Something red. Red cabbage. Yeah? Uh, yeah, get... If you've got red hair, just, just use red cabbage. 
for your hair. Get a, get a thing. Um, if you're an alien, if you've got a green face, just use a lettuce leaf for your face, especially if you're very old and wrinkly. Okay, so if you're an old, wrinkly, green alien, get a lettuce leaf, stick it to some paper, put to what colour alien's eyes? If you've got a green face, they're probably red. Get a couple of cherries or cherry tomatoes for your eyes. Um, you're an alien, so if you've got a normal mouth, well, you could use anything for your mouth, because if it's like, you know, probably alien mouth, you've probably got two mouths, or, or a mouth inside your mouth that comes out like that. In which case, use an artichoke for your mouth, um, your nose. You've probably got a trunk, okay? So use a, hmm, <laughs> a cucumber <laughs> for your nose. Don't know. This is turning into a sculpture, isn't it? Whereas what I did yesterday was a self-portrait. I don't mind if you do a sculpture. It would be all the more interesting. Uh, the weather's brightened up a little bit today. So, uh, so enjoy that as well, uh, although there might be some April showers. Um, I'll shut up now because it's quite obvious um, that I'm rambling, but that's okay. We're all good. It's Thursday. We're going to clap the NHS tonight. Uh, you're going to have a fabulous day. You're going to email me and you're going to do uh, something else to keep your spirits up, keep yourselves motivated, keep yourselves... Uh, wow, enjoying life. This, I tell you what, delivery vans do not stop going past my house at the moment. DX parcel from freight delivered exactly. I've never even heard of DX before. It's probably just some guy with a white van that's painted DX on the side of his van. He's delivering things. Maybe, maybe he's just bringing parcels to people because he's bored. Maybe it's Santa Claus. Maybe Santa Claus is fed up of social isolation. Although you'd think, because he normally does it for a year uh, at a time, doesn't he? Although, does he hang out with his elves? Maybe all his elves have to spend two, like, sit two metres apart, which is quite hard for them. You know what elves are like, they're very social creatures. Um, he's always quite a big parcel he's getting out of his van. I'll shut up now, all right? Have a lovely day. See you in the morning. Uh, keep me posted about your ace ideas, uh, especially yours, Mason, and I've passed that on. Okay, bye.